as you know, most of you know, we bought the Damon on Sunday in Florida. And we've been driving across the country. We know a lot of people wanted to see what it looked like and have a tour. We thought it'd be fun to do one as we bought it and then as we put our own touch and mark on it. Realize today when we get to Oregon, the kids are going to be in here and it will probably never be this empty again. So we'll go ahead and take you on a tour today. So let's look inside. As we come in, one of the fun features of this is the uh, wrap around blinds, which are great. But what's also great when you're driving down the road is this big, huge oops, windshield. It's like uh, driving a widescreen TV down the road. Cockpit has all sorts of gadgets that Mike is loving and I'm not so crazy about the cameras, but I'm learning. Then, I don't know how, do you need to look? Let's just start, have a look around. This is one of my, I know I keep saying one of my favorite, but this is another favorite. We're going to get to the things that we want to change, but we have two couches and the driver and passenger seat turn around. So we will all be able to sit here for family circles, fun family meetings, to read, to watch TV. Nobody has to lay on the dinette. So that'll be great. We have more storage above over here. And also over here, pretty good size storage. Um, the kitchen is about the same as what we had. You'll notice we do not have an oven and I'm not sure how that's gonna work. I'd love any tips from those of you who have fed your family using a microwave convection combo. Um, this right here is a jackknife bed so it just pulls out and the other couch is a hide a bed at the point this point and it had a lot of wear and tear john and laura had reupholstered the driver's chairs but left this one so the new owner could get what they want and for now we just turn the cushions over so they look a little nicer but we're kind of thinking we'd like to find a couch that would have storage underneath and just put something different in there um coming this way the dinette is the dinette and it's got seat belts so the kids can sit there um storage underneath where right now we have extra food stuff and games that'll probably be the same a couple things we are challenges we're gonna have is we used to have a big um cupboard right here that we kept big appliances and um we're going to lose that so we need to figure out where the appliances go and in the front we used to have an entertainment center and all our school stuff all our dvds were in there and at this point we have this little bit of space here because we do have an on-the-go satellite thing which we've never had satellite in our life so we aren't quite sure what we'll do with that um, for those of you that are laughing yes this tv list family now has four tvs in a little 300 square foot living space. This is a beautiful big widescreen TV that John and Laura put in. And this um, is all the storage space there. So it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to figure out where all the chemistry and algebra books will go. The kids don't mind if it's a bit of a challenge and takes a while. Um, let's see, these, this is our breakfast. <laughs> little uh, three burner gas stove on here. Counters are Corian. Sink covers. This will come out. The kids are going to love that. It's about the same fridge space, I think. Maybe a little bigger than we had. Pretty healthy in there still. <laughs> and pretty empty up here. <laughs> Now, if you come through the hall, oh, a couple things in the kitchen that I do love. I'm so glad I did not buy a spice rack because look what we have here. So that'll be really handy and fun, I think. Remember to lock it so it doesn't roll out while we drive. And then over here, we also have pull out shelves and a couple of shelves for um, food. 
So we debated and debated about floor plans. We love our trailer because it had a back bunk room, but we really needed a class A so I could drive it and we really needed bunks so the kids could sleep. So that really, that really, 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 really limited our options. But this one has two bunks in the side here. Um, Mike has plans to drop this to the floor, drop this down and add a third bunk so the kids can be here. Maybe they'll all have their own curtains like they do now. I'm not sure. They do have this for now, which gives them a, a little bit of privacy there, as well as doors, which can be shut here and on this end. So if you come on through, you'll note they also have a TV, which I know they're going to want to keep. Um, I'm thinking we'll put some sort of barrier here so we can actually use that shelf. And then if you come on in, this is much huger. I'm trying to, does that light turn on? Ah, than what we had. Um, <coughs> So we've got a full queen size bed, which in the trailer we had a short queen and even my feet trailed off the edge. So Mike is going to be really happy with that change. We've got drawers. Uh, Mike and I in the trailer, we had two overhead cabinets, about this much closet space each and no drawers. So this is significantly more. The kids, however, are losing two shelves and two drawers. So we're going to have to figure out how we all fit in here. The storage is about the same. We just have to figure it out. The drawers are nice and deep. We've got actually five of them because there's one under the closet. Take a look at the closet. Half of it is twice what we had. And so we'll probably put some storage in half of it. Um, TV. Not sure this is going to stay, just because we don't really do TV, <laughs> but um, love the storage behind here. That might be where our printer ends up. We'll just have to see. Got to figure out how it'll all fit. Is there anything else in here? Um, oh, and this was another feature I wasn't really sure I wanted, but we'll give it a try and see what we think. It's a... Um, combination washer and dryer and it's from what I hear it's pretty small load so I don't know how it'll work with our family of five and really they're all the size of adults so um, we make a lot of laundry <laughs> big size laundry not six months size kids laundry so we'll just see um, <coughs> some people love these other people say it takes five hours to do one load. That doesn't work too well. So if we don't love it, we have a couple of options. We can get a cheap dryer, portable dryer from Walmart that will actually just dry clothes. Or we could also take this out and put shelves in and have more storage. And this is just a little, it goes way back in there. I'm not sure what will be in there. This stuff we don't use very often. And in, this all lifts up as well, which I'm not going to lift it up by myself because I'm not strong enough. And, but it's all storage underneath the bed as well. And a couple of really narrow tables there. I mean, cupboards that we'll figure out. Spot to put our books. And a door. Which I'm having trouble shut but we also have a door. And I'm excited we could make this bed without having to levitate like we did in the trailer. So that's much appreciated. And the last spot is the bathroom. We did lose, our other bathroom had a huge storage thing that we have lost, but otherwise uh, the bathroom's bigger actually. So we'll see how it all works. So now starts the fun of figuring out where the wall hangings will go and where the clothes will go and how we'll fit in here. And uh, 
I honestly would like to change some window things and paint some walls, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. We'll let you know and we'll show you as we go.